Hello everybody, Dave the Rave, Roving the Rock here and today I'm in Black Waterfoot. This is just right in the centre of the village. Very pretty. And the reason I'm here is because I'm meeting Grandpa Fatty and Bear. We're going to go for a walk to Loch Iorsa. Um, which I've never been to before. And neither is Grandpa Fatty. In Loch Hotel. The air is filled with the sound of lawnmowers. <laughs> you see two of them working over there. There we go. Here we go. Right, so, Grandpa Fatty and Bear. Oh, there's a car coming. We found directions. That's the directions. <laughs> Futh. Futh to Lorcai Orsa. Futh. Futh. So there must have been a sign here. Well, that's a good one. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is where we parked on the main road. Just beside it, there's a big layby. Lots of parking. And there's Dugary Boathouse there. This is the start of the path, right at the road sign that says Dugary and has Grandpa Fatty beside it. So if you see Grandpa Fatty and Bear and the road sign that says Dugary, 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 we all say Dugary, then you're in the right place. Let's go.
It said four and a half mile walk, but it didn't say each way, so I've assumed that each way better. I would say. Yeah. I think that's going to be right, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see any sign of it. No. But it is a nice walk, though, isn't it? Walk. So far, it's been great. And the water features weren't a problem, really. As long as you've got boots, that's the thing. So there was a tour bus over from from Locks and Glens. 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 I don't even know why we're making these funny noises, but I like it. I like it. Okay, so a tour bus from Locks and Glens. Is this a story that we can repeat? Yeah, because we were just talking about oh. Aaron and she was saying how much she loved the little tour that they'd done of it and how beautiful it was. Right. And she wanted to come back and I was just saying this. This area, I mean, this is an area I've never been to. It's no. It's absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. This walk is so much better than I was expecting. I was yeah. thinking Boggy Hell Path most of the day. Yeah. I know this it will be at some point. Great track. Wonderful. Got, in the Glen, the valley. Oh. Beautiful scenery. We've seen quite a little bit of kind of like caterpillars and insects and things as well, haven't we? Um, oh, you were just saying that, you're yeah. just like blown away by this, the yeah, tranquility and, and the beauty of this she valley she here. She wanted to come over and just and look at the island and see the island. Yeah. And I was just saying that there's places on the island, I've been here 33 years, I've never been anywhere near. That's the island. thing. And do you think it's embarrassing that yeah. we've been here 73 years between us and not been to Loch Iorsa? Yeah. At my only defence, I'm wondering if we should be embarrassed, but you and I have worked very hard. We're hard workers, right? As far as we've worked, shifts yeah. all our adult life on arm, basically, haven't we? Yeah, it's a shift, right? And we've done overtime as well. Since 2000, I've had basically two jobs as well, so yeah. it's been at least a minimum six day week, if not six and a half and seven. And night shifts. So, and night shifts, so. So, I've that's got, my excuse for, well, even even for ignorance, to be I'll, honest, I'll because I feel I've got a reason, really, but. I'm so not happy with myself that I've not been in places like this because this is just... Isn't it? Yeah. A total winner. Yeah. And not that I mind seeing other people, it's nice to say hello to them and stuff, but it is nice also. We've got this entirely to ourselves. Not another soul. We're spoiled. We're not another human being. We're it's touching distance. It's Yeehaw. beautiful green valleys all the way around us, a river snaking along. It's great underfoot, we're making really good progress. We've even got a little bit of a breeze, so we've got no midges or anything like that. And the two water features we've been over were easy to negotiate. In fact, they were just fun, really, weren't they? Yeah. My feet aren't wet. <laughs> Mine neither. No. I mean, right boat's got water on it, but it's not seen through. And it wouldn't matter if they were wet, because we brought no. a spare socks. Yeah. I brought a spare socks as well. I and that's a first one. Oh, right, okay. Well, did you? Did you really? Yeah. Oh, you did, did you? Yeah. I see what you're saying. I like it. I like it. <laughs> clever. <laughs> I like to be clever. <laughs> Right, well, I'm bringing three pairs of socks next time then. <laughs> and that's the end of that conversation. Allow me to bring a big bucket of water. Oh. <laughs> pour them on your three pairs of socks. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. So we are lucky. Yeah. We're happy, actually. That's what it comes to. That's what it comes down to, isn't it? We're the walking along. Light. The legs are light. Yes. The feet. We're not feeling the strain of anything no. here, are we? We're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. And how's your health? I always cast this, but... What about the long COVID? Have you been? I think you have been struggling a bit lately. I have been struggling a bit lately, uh, on and off. More, more on than off, unfortunately. But at the minute, because I'm out in the fresh air. Yeah. Great. Right. Yeah. Uh, so it's just that crazy thing because you're we're walking at a good pace. We're outside again. We can even do that up mountains and stuff, and you manage yeah. it. Yeah. And then. Well, it seems to be when you go from your fumes or anything like that. It's, it's fumes that get me. Uh, I was out. Went out to the office the other day and there was a, a commercial that got his engine on. Oh yeah. It really it did get to me. Yeah. But I was able to uh, basically hold my breath until I walked past yeah. it. Yeah. And then get outside and there was a breeze so it blew yeah. fumes away as well. So. Yeah. I do worry about going outside for example, although I do like it. Yeah. I do worry about it because it does, sometimes I'm a bit, yeah, but I need to get out in the fresh air as much as possible. And Definitely. the breeze blowing. Blows everything away. We've got lots of fresh air today, that's for sure. Absolutely. I'll just turn around and see where we're going. That's where we're going. <laughs> Very lucky indeed. <laughs> right here we are walking around. We're going through quite a lot of boggets to be, to be fair. 
And here's a good example here, where you kind of try to jump it, but you're not sure if you're going to land on something solid or not. But I think, I don't know if it's always as boggy as this or not, or if it's because it was raining last night, but it has been boggy. We're managing, but it is slowing us down. You can see the kind of path that we're on. So that's worth noting. Just what they said, it's a boggy path. Um, I'll tell you something that Ian that I did, uh, well last night actually, that kind of I quite like. I only run about half an hour a day. I don't run very much. and I'm going to step it up when I get my bus pass at the end of the year, because I'll be 60. And I want to see what I can do as a six year old with a bus pass, but... <laughs> <laughs> but you can get on a bus for now, that's what Yeah, you that's true. Um, but at the moment, I'm not very serious about it, so I just make sure I do half an hour almost every day. So three hours a week, it's not a lot. You know, you could watch the James Bond film and lose three hours, couldn't you? Yeah. And that's in a whole week. So my fitness isn't high, but it's enough. And uh, when you go on Strava, they've got little segments and things, and you try to get the fastest time for. For running over a certain amount you know and uh, anyway I've been doing a few of them this week just to give me some interest you know and last night I finally managed to get the fastest time in one of them I don't know fastest time of anybody ever <laughs> well this took this was a run that took me up um, up a hill and it was about six minutes long so you know but I did it with a headwind actually as well. I did a flat out effort, but I did it. And the point is, you leave yourself up to be shot at when you do something, anything. Yeah. Because somebody else will take you down at some point, right? Especially when you're 59. But that shouldn't stop you from doing it in the first place, you know. Otherwise you never do anything. It's the old thing about anything, if you're going to achieve something, you can't be afraid of failure in the present or the future. You've just got to go for success. Yep. The sound of water, there's a lot of water here, no question. Um, we'll go, let's go this way. I think we're almost in the loft now. Do you think so? Mm. Do you? We're way off, we're almost there. Right, okay. Well, that's good then. But anyway, I'd, I'd had two or three goes and I'd had a second and a third place in different routes and then I got a first place and it's just, when I think about it, you know, it's nice to think that age 59, I can still be the fastest person on a, on a route that hundreds of people have run on, even if only for a short time, you know. Some of to be, you know. Yeah, and that's okay, but that's, that's just the way it is, you know. But. Uh, likewise, you know, I could do it to them. Although, to be fair, if they're 29 and I'm 59... <laughs> you should get a head start. Uh, that's what I should. Well, they've got vet veteran categories. You know, you can look yourself up as an old an old person, you know. <laughs> um, but I've not done that. I'm not doing that. We're not old, David. No. Well, I don't do that. I just try to see where I can place in the top 10 of anybody ever, you know. And I'm, so I, and and that's fine. And I got I got the fastest of anybody ever, and it's nothing to do with age. So that's a nice thing. I'd be much faster if I was younger. So that was quite. A, I quite. I just liked that, you know. Small things don't matter to anybody else. Um, that's looking more and more like a good body of water up there. Well, you think we're getting there? There's a good body of water up there, isn't it? Yeah. We're having difficulty finding out, deciding exactly where Loch Iorsa is because we don't know where it, what it looks like. We haven't been here before, and it did occur to me, right at the beginning, we could go past it and not be aware of it. So I don't think it's that big. On the map it doesn't look very big. But is there going to be a sign saying, Loch Iorsa, no. stop here, and take this in? No, because it wasn't even a sign at the beginning, because it fell, it fell off. <laughs> And at various points along the way, we've not been quite sure if we're on the path, have we? Yeah. It goes through boggy bits and then you, you kind of find the path again. Like this bit here. That's pretty boggy. We just plunder through. Yeah, that is boggy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like we're walking well, through a, a river. It's only boggy if you go up to your knees. Am I still going the right way, Ian? 
I'm following you. Are you following me? I'm following you. You're following me. Right. You think not? I think we can just follow this around and come up and go down. Okay. Uh, so this is me and Grandpa Fatty. Explorer, explorers extraordinaire. Grandpa Fatty's got a map out and I've got Google Maps on my phone. And what the reason we've done that now is because we reckon we've walked for about four miles and we should be pretty much at Loch Iorsa if it's four and a half miles away. But we're not because we've looked up the valley now and there's nothing, there's a small body of water there and then it's just emptied this river all the way up to the mountains. And Grandpa Fatty has established that that mountain there is, what was it? Ben Newish. Ben Newish. So we're beside Ben Newish. And having looked at the map, that means we've gone nearly twice as far as we should have gone yeah. to get to Loch Iorsa, yeah. which means it isn't four and a half miles each way. <laughs> it's four and a half miles altogether. And to be fair, that's a testament. The only I can say two things. I'll go to the positive <laughs> first. <laughs> it's a testament to our fitness that we're not tired. We've gone twice as far as we're meant to have gone on boggy hill marsh, and we haven't complained, and even in the rain. On the other hand, our bodies might be able, and you're surprisingly so with long COVID, um, but our brains clearly are not, in the slightest. <laughs> slight. Even Bear probably knew that we weren't at Loch Iorsa. Um, we've gone far, far further than we're ever meant to go. And in fact, if we carry on at this rate, we'll go right across the island and end up in the... <laughs> yeah, Loch Ranza. Loch Ranza. Yes, that's where we're heading towards at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's the... That's <laughs> the mountains between us and Loch Ranza. Yeah. So that's what we're, it would, might be worth doing, to be fair. And to, and to be honest, the path looks like it gets better down there and you can yeah. see it going all the way. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Oh, but according to the map on here, there isn't a path. But we're on one. Yeah. So that's why it's a boggy kind of help us. So I was wondering why people have said, a few people have said recently they've got to Loch Ranza, but they haven't really complained very much. No. And it's been difficult underfoot, hasn't it? But that's because... Loch Iorsa is actually at that Way little back. building when we were just basically starting the walk, as far as yeah, we were concerned. <laughs> it yes. was a, such a small was, body of water. I was lying on my group leader. Well, it was such a small body of water, we, we did think, wouldn't that be funny if that was it? But it was. And then we've gone past several different parts since then. In fact, we'll just have a look at the map. So there's where we started, all the way along the good path to there, to Loch Iorsa. We've gone all the way up there, and where are we now? We are somewhere just here. We just there's them two bodies there, and that's where the river that's bends right. back there. Yes, that's the last body of water there, isn't yeah. it? Which we're looking at yeah. now. Yeah. And the lock was away back there. Yeah. So we're nearly twice as far as we're meant to be. Well, it was a good walk, at least. It was a very good walk. I really enjoyed it. Time for a cup of tea now. I was, well, we just uh, sit down in the marsh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, baby, we'll go and find a stone or something. Yeah. Um, so, it's definitely somewhere we've never been before. We could be here again, though, if we were to walk all the way to Loch Ranza, and maybe that's yeah, not a bad that's idea. That's probably a good idea. That's what it's, uh... Uh, but that's not what we're doing today. We've got a car back the way. I've certainly never seen... So, in fact, since we're here, way up from Loch Iorsa, most people will never have been here. No, very few people will come this far. Because there's not even a path marked on the map. And that's why it's been so quiet. Yeah. Ben Nush. Ben Tarshman is around. Is that right? That bit, ben Tarshman yeah. as well. Yeah. And that is perfectly peaceful, isn't it? Oh, it's stunning. There's no other way to describe it. A completely... What's a paradise, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Yeah. So that's what we've, we've passed one or two of these bodies of water like that, and there's a little one there. But it's a way back round the corner, I don't know, a mile and a half or something since we passed that boathouse of Bog. Yes, basically. <laughs> I think that's the way, isn't it? it looks like it. Let's have a look. But at least that we have established that now, so we have got a good walk in. And Bear's managed everything easily. Okay, so having duffed everything badly, we've decided that we're actually going to take advantage of it and go for another half an hour up the valley and um, 
just for some extra exercise. Looks like the path gets a bit better. It's a nice day, it's sunny now. I put the alarm on for two o'clock. Two o'clock, at two o'clock we'll turn around in half an hour and we'll just get as far along that valley as we can. You know what we saw all of a sudden? Huh? You noticed know something? No, I haven't. What have I noticed? You've not noticed what's flying around his head now. Little flies? Men, images. Images. Because it's calmed down. Yeah. Let's get going then. Let's get going. Okay, here we are. It's still as foggy as hell. You can see how what it is. This is a random place that we've stopped. We're thinking, shall we carry on? It's not quite the half hour yet. We have decided. We're alongside that mountain now. The last body of water is behind us. In front of us is the valley. It just keeps going and going and going. We're going to stop at that little mound there and we're going to sit on that mound, whatever that is, it looks like man-made, and we're going to sit down and have a sandwich and a cup of tea. That's the plan. Good plan. Good, Good plan. plan. Right, there's a squall just came over. Blue sky's disappeared, it's grey. We've walked as far as we're going to walk. The bird of prey's still in there somewhere. We're not waiting any longer. We're going back towards all the lochs after Loch Iorsa that we didn't know about. You can see the rain sideways. It's not very good. It's quite nice actually. It's fresh. Yes, it's quite nice. It's fresh. If you like that sort of thing. Well, it means that nobody else is going to come out. There's nobody else here. There never will be. Let's go. Let's go. That's the one. It's on. Yay. So yes, how long have we been walking for since we turned round and we're going back towards Loch Iorsa? 35 minutes. 35 minutes, Grandpa Fatty. Yep. And all of it on the bog, of course. Yep. Because it turns out every single step of boggy path on this walk was after Loch Iorsa, which we were walking towards, we thought, but we're actually walking away from it the entire time. Because, and this is where we're going to get some points. Although neither of us is taking any responsibility for it. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't take no responsibility. Well, we can't take any responsibility either of us because the fact is neither of us thought about it. <laughs> you can only take responsibility if you've actually thought about it and then duffed it up. But we, we just don't do that. We don't even think in the first place. Well, well, bears where we're going bears leaping. Off. So, but it's a credit to our um, tenacity that having read that it was a boggy walk, we didn't realise that the whole walk to the loch was in fact entirely unboggy by our own standards <laughs> on a really good path, a made up path what we're on now is what we consider a boggy walk but none of that was to Loch Iorsa, we're already there we're now, we went up Glen, Glen Iorsa up a boggy, boggy path yeah. um, Parallel to Iorsa water Yeah, Iorsa water we and also paddling in the Iorsa water most of the time on the path but so we'll have to correct ourselves on that the path to Loch Iorsa which must only be two and a quarter miles from the road then was entirely unboggy in fact apart from the two water crossing things a hundred percent unboggy made up path perfect yeah yep and we've given ourselves a good workout going up the glen and to be fair we went much further up the glen even after we realised we'd gone past the loch but we'll have been walking on this boggy path for probably an hour before we get back to Loch Iorsa <laughs> without realising we'd passed it in the first place <laughs> oh. over a wee, a wee rivery bit there we go. At least it's sunny again now. Yeah, it's almost sunny. Right, so there was a question I was going to ask you. I'll ask you it now, Ian, right? This is the question for today. I went to Lewis and Harris for my holiday there. And uh, it's lovely. Housing is much more affordable than Aaron. There's more, there are more people up there. A wonderful landscape, incredible beaches, quite wild. I loved it, right? Yep. And everybody who's living at Aaron, of course, knows that there are sacrifices to be made by living there and benefits as well. But the question is, well, could you live somewhere else like that? Could you do it? Could you walk away from Aaron? 
It'd be very difficult. Very difficult. Even would you go to another island? What was the answer for that? Possibly, yeah. Because I'm. Yeah, I'll, I could do. I think because I'm thinking. I don't know the answer to this. You could get a similar thing on the mainland on the coast. Does it have to be an island, or is the mainland coastal? Beside the sea still, assuming you want to be beside the sea? Yeah, I'd, I'd want to be beside water, whether it be the sea or a sea lock or a lock. Yeah. But I'd like mountains as well, I'd like mountains. So, I mean, it could be plucked in or, yeah. you know, or large or whatever else, right? Um, beside, beside, let's say, the sea. Yeah. So it doesn't need to be an island, it doesn't have to have no, a ferry no, going to it? I'd, no, I'd, I would like mountains close by. Yeah. Or big hills anyway. But if we were on the mainland, we'd have more access to mountains, wouldn't we? Yeah. So... Woo. So the mainland would still be possible, it wouldn't have to be an island. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. My main requirement now is to live somewhere where there's no fumes. Yeah, I'm glad to agree with that. Um, the thing is for me, it occurred to me, if I moved to Lewis and Harris, Strangely, the very thing that I value the most about being an iron is the the familiarity, both of the whole location and all the people. Yeah. Right? Because you know everybody, you know everything. You've got history here. You go back a long time, back further than most people can. Um, and you know lots of people. So you'd lose all that. On the other hand, that's quite a nice thing in a way though, isn't it? Because then if you move to Lewis and Harris, let's just say, you'd be completely unknown. Yeah. So you'd have this anonymity, which would also be valuable in its own way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just, you know, temporarily at least. Yeah. Somebody would try and find out who you were, where you were from, what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh. Bit boggy there. <laughs> Right, well, it occurred to me, and I think I actually have decided this. If I moved to another island, I'd change my name. So that I have no history, so that no one can tie me to anywhere else. So nothing can catch up with me until I choose it. And for me, I think I would choose my middle name, which is Hugh. So I would actually, this is what I think I would do, introduce myself as Shuggy. <laughs> I would become become Shug or Shuggy, Shug depending or on how people chose to say that. But I would say my name's Shuggy, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'd keep the second name or not. And I would retain my anonymity that way. And I think you might go crazy because you don't know anybody who have any company. But it would also be a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. At least temporarily. It would be temporarily because people would be... Eventually work it out. ...trying to find out all about you. And well, that's the thing. So, not that I've got a past to, to hide from, but I think it would be nice to be like international man of mystery there, you know. <laughs> like they can try and find out all they like, but they're not going to find out anything because there is no history to, let's just say it's Shug McShuggy, right? Yeah, but then somebody will fight say, oh, that's that guy Dave the Ray rolling the rock from Aaronwood. <laughs> yeah, there wouldn't be any more Dave the Rave. That would have to Dave's be. All, Dave the Rave's already out there, though. He wouldn't be roving the rock anymore because he would be on a different. The people, the people of Lewis and Harris would find. They recognise. The oh God, they'd actually have seen something. No, because you don't want to be famous for that, and I'm. Uh, <laughs> or you've, you've not been concentrating, have you, Dave? Now we're in a, a wilderness. <laughs> Right, who was it? This was a Carry On film. Um, what's the name of the one that's got the long thin face? Goes, oh my no! Kenneth Williams. Kenneth Williams, right? There was a, a film and I think it was, was it High Claudius or something like that, the Roman one? And uh, he ends up, was he getting stabbed? And he goes, infamy, infamy, they've all got yeah. it, infamy. <laughs> that was him, wasn't it? Yeah. Kenneth Williams. Infamy. <laughs> Anyway, so you don't fancy the idea of a, of a whole new identity? No. No. I've enough on with my own one. <laughs> well, there's the thing, you can, that's it, that's it. You can be any, you can remake yourself <laughs> as anything you want. Anything I want, yeah. Uh, you can uh, even make up your past if you liked, if you wanted a past. If I identified as a millionaire, would that get me anywhere? 
Well, mate, but you know, <laughs> once they see you eating a bag of chips, it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> Even millionaires eat bags of chips. Yeah. <laughs> and counting out the change, you know. <laughs> I I said, that's in, that's me in old money again. Cause I'm talking cash, haven't I? Yeah. Because nobody does cash anymore. So that's not going to happen anymore, is it? They're not going to count the change out any more than they're going to have a scramble. No scrambles anymore, is there? No. Unless they start throwing, what would you throw? <laughs> I don't digital know. Currency. Yeah, digital currency. I don't know how you catch that. Anyway, okay, there we go. So you keep your identity, yeah? Yeah. And just let everybody get to know you. Would you try to stay anonymous for a while? Yeah, I'd try to stay quiet. Because it does sound nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I like, I like quiet. Quiet, and you can go into a shop and... See, it's, it's, it's a, it's a catch-22, because it is nice that people know you, but it's also nice that people don't. Yeah. In a strange way. Yeah. Anyway, I suspect we both know the answer to that anyway, since we've been on iron 73 years between us. We're probably not going anywhere, are we? No. We just need to get away as much as possible and see other things from Aaron. Yeah. Because we would have left already if we were going to, wouldn't we? And also, you just, there's so much more of Aaron to see. Well, here we are. I've never been here before. Lock I Horse is just up here somewhere, I believe. <laughs> I think Lock I Horse is about half an hour further up this boggy path. So we've only been walking up it for an hour since we turned round. Turns out we walked to Lock I Horse in about half an hour or something. <laughs> It was really easy. <laughs> and that does make it embarrassing that we've never been here before. Because it was actually a very well, gentle, easy walk. We explored more of the area than most people would explore well, to be fair. On, a, on a walk to that Loch Iosa. Where we've just been. <gasps> okay, I'm going to leap it, I'm going to leap it. <sighs> yes, most people, uh, this is the good part of the path. <laughs> we were leaping. Two lords are leaping. Two lords are leaping, yep, and two lords are leaping. So, but we have enjoyed our walk, so it was nice. We haven't seen, only thing we've seen, one bird of prey, isn't that right? Yeah. That's the only animal we've seen, isn't it? Yeah, from caterpillars and... Yeah, caterpillars. And a frog. Lots of different birds as well. We saw a frog leaping about. Yeah. Okay, I'm going for it. Yeah. Oof. This is quite a boggy bit. Yeah, and some bars. Okay. I see the moon I can see a few stars there's a cool wind blowing all around I can hear the trees oh, I can feel The owls are calling Zoomies! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what <a> dog? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I'm leaving when the sun will rise. Go back to my old life. And I'll think of you. Me and the world Grew old To Right, that's us finished our walk. Um, we're just going back down the bee path along this grassy bit um, and takes us down to the bottom there where the car is, just at the parking. Um, that's the path that we came up and it comes winding up to here. Over there's the boathouse where unfortunate acts happen to many people. In other words, they get married and Beside that is the bridge that the main road goes over and then all the way in the distance over to Macri. What a beautiful view, which we didn't even notice on the way away from the car, but we've seen it on the way on the way back. You get a different view from a different perspective. And that is a cracking view. A good one to end it on. Nice wee walk. Two and a bit miles each way on a really good path if you don't go up Glen Iorsa, which we did. Um, yeah, cracking and you get that straight away almost as soon as you start the walk start calling you Dave the Navigator the Navigator <laughs> <laughs> well that would be a first, first I suppose I don't think there are any other Dave the Navigators anymore. I don't think so no no oh. Zarko the Navigator he was put around about 1480 oh is that right yeah, yeah. well that means we need to find another Dave the Rave <laughs> Somebody else raving and ranting. <laughs> right, there we go. Dave the Navigator and Grandpa Fatty over and out. <laughs> <laughs>